That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's literally a junkyard on the sidewalk. You cannot walk down the sidewalk anymore. Yeah, yeah. They they put a uh, they put porta johns here so people stop defecating on the sidewalk. So this is uh, this is fully acceptable. This is fully acceptable to the government, the local government, and yeah, the it's state government. Normalized and people, they don't even bat an eye. They are used to it. Yeah. We're actually right on the border of LA and Gardena. So there's no RVs on this side, but they're all along these streets here. This is this is what it looks like in this area now. And is fully accepted. So this is the first opportunity that you can walk onto the sidewalk in a while. Oh man, it smells too. Flies everywhere. That's all just... Oh, look at this. That's a dude. I don't care. I mean, it really just looks like a lot of uh, hoarders. What are the chances that any of these RVs are able to drive out of here? <laughs> Slim to none. It, yeah, they look like they haven't run in quite a while. Now, this also changes depending on when you're here because sometimes... They do clean these out because I've seen it way worse than this. LA's done something about it. The auditorium. Yep, not towing RVs ended last year, so I did notice between last time I was here and now that they've cleaned it up a little bit. Okay. So you won't find this in Los Angeles, the city itself, with this kind of built. But down here in the Compton Gardena, we're in a weird. Um, area yeah. you'll find you'll find this here yeah well see it's a lot cleaner right here yeah this isn't bad obviously this gets it's been cleaned up well you probably have guys right here who this guy probably this is well this is a business so they're probably like they won't they won't accept that you know there's this is an active business Nice, that's a good idea. So he just took the water from yeah, that so hydrant right here. How do you access that? They have a... Yeah, they have a pipe So they just took the water, fresh water from... I don't know if it's really yeah, it's potable water, but they just... just had a pipe wrench. He got the water, he wrenched it right here. The water came out right there, and he filled up his bucket for whatever he needs. And a lot of these homeless people, they've become quite inventive and they'll splice power from some of these uh, power lines. Uh, some of them have their own generators, some of them don't, but. That's pretty smart. I mean, if you gotta do it. You know, some of them, you can tell whether they're mentally ill or they're just homeless. Sometimes they're neat. It'll be a decent RV and there's no trash, there's no filth, none of that, but you'll find that in the valley, San Fernando Valley section. But over here, it's just hoarding filth everywhere. And the city, it's Compton anyways, whatever city we're in doesn't want to do anything about it. Yeah. Probably because they delegate it to certain areas. They let it they let it happen in these certain areas and then they just it's out of sight, out of mind. And it's like you said, once you let something go just a little bit. It all just encompasses of course. the area Absolutely. that you have been. Absolutely. I have a cat. Nice, cute. Yeah, yeah, we're good.
Got any food, Lamont? Uh, no. Wow. Yeah, it's safe to say that this is probably human excrement. If the smell of this place were, if I were able to describe it, uh, I don't know. It's what does it smell like? I mean, it smells like a garbage dump. It smells you know, like dirt mixed with filth divided by funk. Oh yeah! Every once in a while, you and catch I a whiff of it. The Look here, you go. This is trash, and this is what they use for water. Innovative. Oh, another dog. Wow. So how how long has it been like this, would you say? Oh my god. Years? Years. Yes. Yeah, and it's gotten better and worse at times, right? Depending on what local government is in office. Yeah, they'll, you know, whoever gets voted in, they'll they clean it up for a while and then they'll come back and then this is what you get and nobody wants to clean it up now why would you say that they allow this i don't know and they have they have like resources it's not like they don't have shelters but these people they just want to sit out here and do drugs all day that's all there is to it and they're rewarded by but being allowed programs and yeah i mean they're they're, they're, yeah, they're allowed to sit here free food sometimes they get money and then you get this yeah look look at this a d'angelo cd That's who a, would do this a crime in itself oh give me some brown sugar baby i get high your look at this so this was somebody's i mean this is someone's life here someone's family look at this how does this stuff end up here Wow. Yeah, the, the, the craziest to me is the fact that they, I could understand them, you know, these people have nowhere to go. I could understand them being able to park along the, the, these certain roads. As if I was a governor or mayor or something, I would say, all right, specific roads, park here. But you're not going to put all your junk on the on the on the uh, public sidewalk. You know, you're not going to, you know, you, you're not going to block a sidewalk this like is this. Meth. That's what meth does. This is crazy. And they all use the fire hydrants. And what do you think is in here? This goes underneath all these RVs. What do you think is in that sewage? It smells like it. Yeah, this is crazy. This is what happens when you allow people to run amok and you allow them to run amok with mental illness and drug addiction. Jeez Louise. It smells like rotten garbage over here. Catch that whiff. Oh, I don't know if that something died. Oh my God. Dude, if I breathe through my nose, I am going to vomit. Oh. Something just died right here. I can't see it. But... I don't know if there's something dead in here. Oh. oh. God. What is in here? Is there a dead body here? Oh. Woo. Now you just wonder what is in these bags. You're not going to find out today. I'm not going to look through them. This is remnants, obviously, of uh, what probably this used to be an entire encampment, I'm assuming. This is a, a mental health problem. A mental health emergency
I believe that there was a big fire here not too long ago. There was a whole bunch of RVs that all caught on fire. Part of the problem is that the fire department, whenever there's fires around here, they have to bring water. They have to bring a tanker because they can't get to the, the hydrants. Because a lot of times these guys are parked right in front of the hydrants. Yeah, that's... California has a big homeless problem to deal with. And I suspect it will only get worse. But this is what it looks like. See you in the next video.